Autopath. UCANest has an Autopath function, which allows the machine to create the path on its own after the user has set its parameters. For example, go to Path, Autopath. When you see this dialog box, you can set the parameters. Firstly, select your offset to be on, outer, or inner contour. You can set the width or allowance if you wish to set an offset. You can change your direction to be outer clockwise, inner counterclockwise, or outer counterclockwise, inner clockwise. The speed is usually determined by the machine you are using. You can either choose presets or change them according to the machine. Cut in and cut out will determine how the machining tool enters the material and how it leaves the material. You can change your settings here when setting the cut in and cut out lines. Short moving to cutting will attempt to connect to these lines when they have been set. You can set your short distance and cutting sequence to be near first, x direction first, or y direction first. Click OK and you can see the line cut in and the arc cut out on each of these paths. If you wish to change the location of the path cut in and cut out, select your path, go to path, path lead. Here you can change the location of the cut in and cut out sequences. To save material, you can bring them all to the center. You can also change your parameters here in the Design Central. Click Update to refresh the page. If you wish to save material, click Short Moving to Cut and it will connect the lead in and lead out parts together. And this will prevent tool damage or overcutting when the tool is entering the material. Click OK. Now go to Path, Path Sequence, and you can change which part will be machine first. Simply click them in the order that you wish to set them in. To simulate the toolpath, select the toolpath and go to Path Simulation. Here you can see how the tool will enter and exit the material as the green lines are the, where it will cut and the red lines are when it lifts from the material. As some tools may need preheating or drilling before cutting or machining, by using cut in and cut out we can prevent the preheating or drilling damaging the parts that you want to be machined. And that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you.